May I make a suggestion? Why not do a capability test on the whole box of tricks? Capability test on an auto? Well, I admit it's a bit more difficult and needs a lot more samples than a test on a single-purpose machine, but it can be done. If you like, I could work out a scheme for you. Somebody tell me what a capability test is when it's at home. Here you are, then. All machines vary slightly in the parts they produce, whether due to um, wear or to their setting or to a dozen other causes. Mm. Now, if you measured and plotted all these pieces, you'd find they fall into a definite bell-shaped curve, something like this. Or this. Or that. The good machines, of course, will have a narrower base to the bell, and the bad machines are wider. Now, if your spec limits lie outside this base, well, you're laughing. But if they lie inside, then your machine isn't capable of holding the tolerances. You always get tails of pieces too big or too small. And that's our trouble? From what we've heard, it looks very much like it. Uh, if your suspicions are confirmed, what do we do? Scrap the whole machine? Not necessarily. You may be able to strip the machine down and repair it. Or, if your delivery dates make this impossible, you may even decide it's worthwhile to carry on as is and hand sort all the pieces. Mm. We'll take that fence when we come to it. Meantime, we'll carry out capability tests on all the machines used on this valve. And obviously, we'll make a start with those concerned with the ball. Right? Well, there's your answer. One of your orders is quite good. Well up to the job, in fact. But the other's got one head that simply can't hold the limits.